hello, hello, YouTube. It has here. been a minute since we got back on here and we truly apologize. We have been busy with life and a dog. We have to update, get, update you guys on that. Yes. But we are here back at Universal to show you the new Minions land that they have here and it is so, so stinking cute. So yes. let's go to Universal and let's go check it out. So as soon as you get inside the park, there's a concession stand right here to the right. They have refreshments and pick me up snack. And past this concession stand, you see the landmark, the Minions landmark right here. Across from Minion Mayhem. The ride is not open yet, but I do see the poster of the villains on the side of the wall. So I'm gonna guess that they're gonna be in the ride for sure. On this side, it said evil stuff. Evil yeah. You're right up my alley. <laughs> Not right up your alley. I wonder what could be in here. I am dead. <laughs> wow, they got a lot of merchandise. Ooh. Fire. <laughs> they even got backpacks. Yes. That is not my twin. That is not my twin. Do they not look the same? You guys. They're twins. I don't care what anybody says. If y'all comment that we're twins, I swear I'm recording the comment. Here's more of the merch that they have. They literally have everything from t-shirts to cups to fart guns. That's a fart gun? Yeah, that is I'm screaming. Fart guns right here. They have freeze rays and then the nano guns up here and then other guns up there. And then little plushies which everybody loves. Probably not. Okay. I'll be like, wow, that's very Cute little fanny packs. These are actually really cute. A lot of evil stuff in here. Too many evil things. They also have this right here, where it's the black and white, I mean black, black, white, and yellow merch. It's evil because I'm about to run on my car. Oh my god. After the evil stuff, right across the street, you can have Bake Monday. Which is my favorite restaurant so far. Look, come on, let me show you. As soon as we walk in, my girl was in heaven. They had different types of candy themed merchandises. Let's take a trip over here and see what they have over here. As you can see, more merchandises. They even have headband themed. It's almost like Mickey Mouse ears, but Minions themed, candy themed Mickey Mouse ears. Everything in here was draw dropping for my queen. As you can see, she, they even have baby spoons in there. Baby spoons. And when I saw the bucket hat, oh yeah, I'm definitely coming back for it. And for all the unicorn lovers, they have unicorn backpacks. They even got the unicorn cupcake design right on the back, guys. Also on the tag, it said that it was scented, but I don't think we picked up any scent. So... Maybe you guys might have some luck on it. And as you continue to move on to the left, we found some more headbands with the unicorn theme. I'm telling you, the way that they set everything up, 10 out of 10. So we just left from right there, which is Bake My Day, the little sweet treat shop. And then right over is Freeze Ray Pops. And of course, Raymond is in line for what? I'm a sucker for freeze pops. That's why he's in line, you guys. 
so we're leaving Freezeway Pops, but we're gonna come back for more. And then right next to it is a mobile pickup area. So if you order through the app, you can go pick it up right there. And you do not have to wait in line at all. You Say it again. We love that. Bank of Evil. We don't know what this is or if they're gonna open it up yet, but there's that. This is a door to the restaurant out there. And this is the lovely Minions Cafe. We love it. We're going to show you guys inside. It is 10 out of 10, okay? So right now we are waiting at the Mayans Cafe. As you can see, there's a line. There is a line, but you have to know that it is mobile order only so far that we know. We can't really pay in cash or anything like that so far. Uh, so you place your order on the Universal app and then they'll be seated once this whole line is done. And then you scan the QR code on your phone on your table. Yep, scan the QR code on the table. Yeah, you scan the QR code that's on the table, and then the server's knows to bring it to your table. Oh, like we was told, you have to definitely do a mobile order in order to get get inside. So we're gonna go ahead and find the Minion Cafe right there. Boom. Keep in mind, there's two different Minion Cafes. There's table delivery, you can see right there in the corner, and then there's also pickup, where we showed you where the pickup window is. So we're doing tables, so table delivery. And then, this is just everything that they have. Nothing really catch my eye. Besides, oh, they got million tops. Coconut blue rice. That's interesting. <laughs> we have finally made it. Thank you. Two. All right. Thank you. We're finally here. As soon as you get inside, you're greeted with a whole bunch of different colors, and you can definitely tell that minions have been in and through that cafe. All throughout the cafe, there's tons of posters of saying what the minions like to do, what they like to eat, and especially when they're on break. Not only is this restaurant aesthetically pleasing to look at, it is definitely a must try, especially if you have children in your party who are addicted to minions, or even if you have an adult in your party who loves the minions. <laughs> I can definitely say that Universal paid attention to detail when they put this restaurant together is because even the little machines everywhere like towards the ceiling and stuff there's like little eyeballs on every single one of the machines so it looks like there's minions looking at you from all angles it's literally so cute and this little statue is what greets you when you first walk in but you gotta trust me when I tell you that this statue looks 10 times better in person than it does on camera. Here's me epically failing on showing you how the QR code works. Basically, it's just like a restaurant, like how you would look at a menu on your phone. You scan the QR code, and as soon as it beeps, you're all set, and they bring you your food. Ah, yes! Can you be famous? <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's for him, yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Be careful with that one. It might make you a little crazy. Okay. You don't want to cure it. Then gotcha. <laughs> Favorite part of this whole And here it is. Here she is in all her food. It's supposed to make it crazy. So it's only fair for us to call it the antidote. And what's that one called? This is called the antidote. To oh, your craziness, you know. I knew that. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the antidote. A lot of the uh, team members say if you drink this one, like Raymond said, it's gonna make you crazy. So you need the antidote to cure you. Yeah, it's supposed to mellow you out. It's a balance. Yeah, yeah. And then it's I don't know what the bottom is, but it's some type of yellow soda. Maybe yellow, mellow with yellow. Probably. <laughs> And then you got the ground crackers from at the top too. It looks so tempting. I'm not even gonna lie, it looks refreshing. I'm gonna go ahead and try it now. Hey, guess what it 
tastes like bananas. <laughs> Yes. Oh, really? I don't know about the, the mixture between the two. Between the whipped cream and the lemonade, I'm assuming it's what's on the bottom. It is, it's not like a good mixture, but it's overall, it's okay. Just drink the lemonade first <laughs> and then eat the whipped cream. That's my biggest tip. I'm gonna see what her taste buds is about, so let me go ahead and try it too. Oh man, this is really good. This is really good. It's very sweet. It tastes like some type of it tastes like some type of punch. Like it's very sweet. I'm gonna be honest. I usually have bad luck with purple icing ever since Publix. It just tastes like medicine. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one, take one for the team. I'm not a big fan of purple icing at all, but I did notice they got pop rocks at the top and it will pop it. Oh brother, this guy stinks! So since we just tried the crazy juice, now here we are with the antidote to see how it tastes. I'm honestly scared of this. I'll be scared. <laughs> I don't really like banana like that. Like, I, if I have to eat it, I will, but I'm not. It's not bad. It tastes like yellow Fanta, right? Yeah. Fanta. And then this one. Not in the salt. That's what you do. I like whipped cream better than this one. Enjoy. It's 10 times better than this one. But, like banana? <laughs> All right, so our food has finally came out and do not judge us. We were not that hungry So we had to get well, we didn't have to but we got the kids meal because again, we weren't that hungry Here's my dessert. It is the unicorn cupcake. The, it's so fluffy if you remember <laughs> and here is my grilled cheese with hash browns and a banana and Fun fact about these hash browns is that they make them fresh they make them to order and we thought that was so cool so we just wanted to tell you guys that so let me bring you guys to my plate so like we said we're not hungry so we got the kids though. we got the mac and cheese of course with the tater tots freshly made tater tots and then they got this little banana it's very little and then for dessert i got the mayan swiss roll I don't know what this is, but it, I'm guessing it's some type of frozen banana. He said it's edible, so that's all that matters. Yeah, we can eat it. <laughs> we'll start with the tater tots. We'll literally come back for more, for real. Mac and cheese? <laughs> You're up to bet because the tater tots are busted. Taste fresh out of the box, like crabs, if that makes sense. But it's not enough seasoning. It doesn't give cheese like mac and cheese. But it's a nice little snack. But the tater tots are definitely better. Let's see if we can get a cheese bowl. Cheese bowl, cheese bowl, cheese bowl. Wah, wah, wah. No cheese bowl. Let's, let's try the other one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have faith. This is, this is a new restaurant. Why not? <laughs> it's good. What? It's kind of inside. It tastes like there's some type of salsa on the inside, so it gives like grilled cheese salsa. If that makes sense. It's uh. not bad. It's not terrible, but the main success is off the cooking menu. It might be a little, little expensive. Okay, so this is the main swish roll. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. See how it tastes. So it tastes like a sponge cake. I don't know how to explain it. Like the texture is like a sponge cake. It wouldn't be my first choice, but it's it's pretty good. The banana right here, they say it's edible, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that too. Oh, it's like some banana ice cream. It tastes like lemon. Lemon ice cream. I'm gonna be honest, but it tastes good. 
All right, so right next to the men's cafe, we got a popcorn stand and it is called Papa Nana. I believe they have a new special drink, well, two special drinks from the Minions and also flavor it, flavor banana popcorn. Would you try? Hmm? Would you try it? I would not. <laughs> but all the brave ones out there, definitely try the banana popcorn. So that wraps things up with the Minion, the new exclusive, the soft drop. That's what it's called, right? The soft opening of Minions. We hope that you enjoyed. If you are gonna come and visit, definitely let us know down in the comments. If you are thinking of coming to visit, let us know in the comments. And if you're ready for the ride to open, which we definitely are, let us know in the comments. What would you think about the restaurant? Oh, the restaurant? Amazing. They, the theme and everything, they had it on point. And what's most important, I guess, for us is that, like, the customer service was on point. Like, everybody was so nice. We didn't have any issues. Um, and of course, everything is minion themed. So the what is it? The cast members, the team, yeah. the yeah. team members, they talk about any and everything minion with you, yeah. and they're just really pumped, really excited. So, it, Universal, you did, you did a good job. And Universal, shout out to Molly, shout out to Cam, and shout out to Carter. On point. Yeah, Molly, Cam, and Carter, just like how Raven says, they brought the energy for their soft opening today. They were amazing. Amazing. Ten out of ten. So when the rides open, we'll have you guys tag along. We can't record it because of universal policies, but we'll definitely have you guys tag along and you guys can definitely semi-experience the first ride. Of course, and definitely if you want to keep up with us with our socials, you can definitely follow us up on TikTok at Meme Park Couple. We'll probably link it down below and we'll probably show up right here on the screen where we post way, way, way more frequently on there with Disney, SeaWorld, and Universal content for you guys. So if you're interested, definitely check us out on TikTok. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. You want to close it out? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!